Hello everyone! In today's video, we'll discuss several types of transducers, commonly referred to as probes in ultrasound. We'll go through their features and typical applications in sonography. Just to give you a little background on myself, I currently work as a sonographer in the United Arab Emirates while also working part-time as an ultrasound educator. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you can receive notifications of upcoming interesting videos about ultrasound. Let's get going! The first type of transducer that we'll be talking about is the convex probe. It is also known as the curvilinear transducer and is thought to be the most widely utilized among all the transducers. This type of probe has a curved piezoelectric crystal configuration and it produces a convex beam that is ideal for examining deep structures. This type of probes make a lot of contact with the skin surface and the ultrasound beam spreads out inside the patient to cover more of the parts of interest. The frequency usually ranges from 3.5 to 5 MHz. That's why these probes are mostly used for imaging deeper structures like for the abdomen and for obstetrics. The next type is the linear transducer. It has high frequency that can capture images that are located superficially. The frequency usually ranges from 5 to 15 megahertz. A straight sound wave is produced by a flat array of crystals. It is suitable for vascular imaging and specific procedures like the placement and guidance of needles. Additionally, it can be used to scan small and superficial structures like the thyroid, breast, and the muscles. The next type is the so-called endocavitary probe, also known as the transvaginal probe, or they are also using this in male prostate ultrasound via transrectal. Endocavitary probes have U-shaped lens and array in addition to a much longer probe handle. These probes are utilized to scan the body's inside. They have smaller depth range due to their form but they have a wider field of view compared to the convex probes. Frequency usually ranges from 3.5 to 11.5 MHz. The next probe is the phased array transducer. Its design includes a number of components that can pulse simultaneously to focus sound waves in a specific direction. It is frequently utilized in radiology investigations like neonatal head ultrasounds, and the most common application is in 2D echo or ultrasound of the heart. The frequency typically falls between 2 and 10 MHz. And lastly, we have this 3D, 4D ultrasound probe. We all know that in 4D ultrasound, it is possible for us to view a live video feed of the images, which demonstrates the movement of the fetal heart's wall or valves, as well as the blood flow through different veins. It is also a trend nowadays to view the fetal's face using this probe. The appearance of this probe is somewhat similar to the convex probe, although at times it is much heavier. So it can also be used in abdomen or OBGYN scans. The frequency is somewhat the same when scanning in 2D convex transducer, which usually ranges from 3.5 to 6.5 MHz. And that concludes today's video. I hope that was interesting for you all and that I was able to teach you something. Please feel free to comment below with any topics you'd want me to cover in my future videos. I'll see you again soon. Bye!